So, there is a lot of opinions on Classroom of the Elite Season 2. Um, apparently to the light novels because sometimes I've, I've been hearing on Twitter that, um, people don't like it that much. Uh, because it's, it's it kind of deviates. I mean, that's all of Classroom of the Elite, by the way, not just Season 2, but it kind of deviates from the light novels. So the light novel readers are like, yeah, no. <laughs> this ain't the original. Uh, I don't like it. it. Blah, blah, blah. But I've never actually read the night novels to tell you the truth now that we're on season two and now that i've learned that um we're not really i mean we're loosely following the light novel again we're not like exactly one-to-one -one doing it um i'm probably not gonna read it <laughs> so let's just talk about season two of classroom of the elite because right now this is the anime because every season i have an anime where i just watch it religiously there's only ever one. <laughs> like last season it was Shield Hero, and that's like the one I don't drop during the season. And Classroom Elite is definitely this one. And wow. <laughs> so obviously it continues where we left off from last season from like the boat thing. You were still on the boat doing an extra little arc little thing with the, the test with like VIPs. You get some little like goodness of Ayana Koji, you know, after the, the result of talking to the teacher and him being like, like notified that he has to fucking give it it's all like if you don't want to be expelled and go back to your father or like you know all that kind of jazz uh you better fucking try and he he's doing that he's doing so he's he's getting the strings he's pulling everyone around he's being the puppet master that he is and I'm not gonna lie that first arc you know wasn't my favorite with the bow team with the vips the the, the subsection groups so like all the classes mixed together um i don't know but with um the, with K, you know, um you know the, the girl, um who the popular girl in class who has like all the girls under her finger, the bully victim, um K, and she is cool. I like her. She's nice. She she she's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> um and she's a big uh, player in this arc. I'll tell you that. And. Ayana Koji saves her in, in like a weird fucking way. <laughs> like he's a fucking badass, but he's also kind of an asshole. And he's kind of like, yo, we're going to be partners. We're going to work with him with me. Because we're, we're, we're both the same. We have the same eyes or something. I don't know what he said, but you're the same kind of energy, the same kind of vibes. We're going to work together. And he helped her. And now they're kind of best buds. And that was a cool arc. You know, it was nice. It was like a good like 7 out of 10 arc. It was nice. It was short. It was sweet. You know, love to see it. And then the, the real peak. Because like with Classroom of the Elite, all right, they have the arcs are, are pretty small. And of course, the peak being the last episode, the finale of last season, where Anakoji reveals his true intentions. Well, in, in this next arc, like the sports festival arc kind of thing going around. This is the most tension-filled arc I've seen out of this whole anime. And it reaches a new peak at episode 6. I'm not going to reveal it because that's new. That's like very, very new, like the recent episode. I'm not going to go ahead and talk about that. But it is really good. Like, it surpassed the high of episode 12. I was fucking there for that one. Like episode 12, I thought I never thought it was gonna get surpassed, but in the end it did, and I really think it's good. Like the, the big part about this anime is like Anakoji, and the big part about season two is actually seeing him get in the game. Like he's actually doing shit now and actively being a player, instead of like kind of pulling the strings of um um Horikita. Uh he she he is more of on the front on the front stage now. Which I'm very happy to see. And that's like the biggest thing I like about season two um, is the fact that Iona Koji is on front and center. Uh, that's what I love. And I can't wait to see more that's going to happen with this anime. Um, and of course, the, the, the opening looks good. The animation, it's it, it, it kind of hit or miss. It's good. It's, it's, it's sometimes it's all right, you know. Um, and it's, it's okay. It's not the best anime in the world, but the plot really does drive it forward. And I can't wait to see what happens with Kushida. What happens with the, the, the fucking red-haired man. Uh, <laughs> I, names are my strong suit. But literally, all these characters, I can't wait to see how the plot unfolds in later arcs after the sports festival is finished. 
I can't wait to see what happens later on during the next arc that's about to unfold and with everything that, was, that has been revealed during episode 6, the peak of this fourth festival arc, I'm just looking forward to just seeing the the aftermath of what the fuck is happening. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. I'm hoping this is okay. I had no script, no bullet points. I just shot in the dark. If this one doesn't seem like good to me, I'm gonna do better next one, but I think I'm gonna stay with this first take. Uh, but yeah, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 300 subscribers. Finally, like, come on, let's just get it this year. I mean, come on, please, 300. You have to break past 200, man. Subscribe, go to my Twitch. I'm begging you, get me to 100 followers on Twitch. It'd be fucking sick. Oh, we're playing Jump King, we're playing Pokemon, we'll be playing a lot of games just chilling out together on stream. So come over there, links are all in the description. You And go click them and follow and like, subscribe, all that jazz. Ja, ne. It's not a game, I'm not a robot.